The monthly discussion session of Adam Global Center, a human rights organization dependent to the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Iraq, was specified to the topic of regional sponsors of terrorism, which laid great emphasis on all countries to act responsibly in encountering terrorism. The attendees at this conference also demanded an immediate end to the logistic, financial and ideological supports of some regional countries for ISIS terrorists. Adam Human Rights Organization, an institute dependent to the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, has held another session of its monthly discussion sessions in the holy city of Karbala with the title of Crimes of the Terrorist and the Responsibility of Their Countries. Today, Adam Human Rights Organization has held a conference which is attended by bright and visionary personalities in different fields of human rights and international law. This conference is specified to the title Crimes of the Terrorists and the Responsibility of Their Countries and tries to speak about the responsibility of the countries for their citizens who join terrorist groups according to accords verified by the Security Council in 2014 and 2015. All countries are obliged to revoke the citizenship of those citizens who join terrorist groups so that the terrorists won't be able to travel freely. In spite of this, this act would result in the blockade of revenues that support terrorist groups such as ISIS. Fortunately, we saw that some countries abided by these international accords and revoked the passports of the terrorists. But there are still countries which have turned into a corridor and sponsor for terrorism. In the rest of this discussion, Dr. Abdul Rasul al Asadi, a law professor at Babel University, addressed the rapid growth of terrorist networks and highlighted the role of the international accords that restrict these groups. Terrorist groups have emerged as a big threat in different parts of the world and with every day that passes, they use more horrible ways to manslaughter the innocent people and as you see, the number of terrorists and their victims has increased dramatically. We went through the different international law about encountering terrorism and we saw that there are many gaps. We insist that all countries should invalidate the citizenship of the people who join terrorist groups so that they wouldn't have any responsibility for the crimes of these people. Of course, it is needless to say that all countries and governments have this right to prosecute their citizens who join terrorist groups based on their domestic laws. All international laws should force the countries to be responsible about their citizens and their terrorist activities. For a long time, Iraq has been a victim of terrorism, supported by internal and foreign forces, and although all countries are aware of this fact, however, they don't take serious measures to encounter terrorism. It is why there are even some countries which support terrorism in different shapes. 